Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined with Grant Dennis. And he has had, well, 18 wins, four defeats, three wins by knockout. And he's against Kameen Ajarkov. I think I've said that right, but yes. Kivan Keep, keep, Ajarkov. Kivan Ajarkov. Kivan Ajarkov. I'm not the best, <laughs> best at pronouncing names, but yes. Um, that he Grant is fighting Kivan Ajarkov. And he is um, on the, jo uh, not Josh Taylor, Katie Taylor, the um, Shelton Cameron undercard in, um, oh, what? it's in Dublin, isn't it? It's in Dublin, yes, mate, yep. Yes, it's in Dublin. And um, yeah, glad to get you on. Oh, thank you for having me, buddy. Thank you. Um, of course, because of course you fought um, Vassiv Mamadov in your last fight. Yep. Um, yeah. I was there. Um, was, oh, was you? Yeah. yeah, it was a good. It was a good. It was a good um, fight for you, wasn't it? Good combat fight. Yeah, I wanted to get some rounds in. I've been out for a year, so I just wanted to get some rounds in. Um, he had he's a like had a tough head. I thought I could have got him out of there, but he had a tough head, and um, I just stuck to my my skills, my boxing, and um, yeah, it was quite a shutout points victory, really. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, but that you had those those was it four rounds or six? I can't remember. Six. It was six, yeah, six rounds. Oh yeah, rounds. yeah, yeah. You won every round though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, yeah. how many tickets did you do for that fight? Uh, probably about ninety, I believe. I think ninety around that around that mark. Anyway, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. Cause uh, that that was a good show that you were on that Johnny Clark show, wasn't it? Good show. It, yeah, it was his first show as well. So um, yeah, it was. I was I was really impressed with the setup, and uh, yeah, it was a really really good show. Really good show. Yeah, yeah, it it was very very good, and uh, you yeah. kicked the show off with a big bang. Yeah, that's what I, that's what um I like to do. So yeah, I like to like to think it was a good fight to watch and. Uh, I put uh, a few of my skills on show, you know what I mean? Yeah, so now you've got this big opportunity on, uh, you're on the zone. Um, yeah. First time on a matchroom show, isn't it, for you? It is the first time on a matchroom show, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's, it's a great opportunity. Uh, against someone I, I personally know, do you know what I mean? And, um, oh, do you yeah, know it? Looking... Yeah, man, we're 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 kind of like pals, do you know what I mean? It's actually quite quite funny, but um, yeah, we was um we was Billy Joe Saunders's like sparring partners out in Future Ventura together, so we actually lived together for for a week or a couple of weeks. And uh, listen, he's a cool dude. I get on with him well, but business is business, and this is how it is. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's gonna be a great fight. Yeah, it's gonna be a very good fight. Our, our styles will definitely gel. And the uh, press conference it, it, is going to be interesting then. Yeah, well, like I say, he knows me, I know him. Uh, there's nothing personal, it's all business, uh, and that's uh, that's how each other's physical. way. Um, but you know, after the fight, I'm sure you'll shake hands, you know, just yeah, absolutely. At the end of you know, the day, there's no in each other's way at the minute. That's it, exactly. And, and you know, this was probably on the cards for quite a while that we was going to meet, you know what I mean? And uh, this is the business we're in. We're in the Hurt game. And like I say, after the fight, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? And But it's business. And uh, Keevan's like, what I'm training for, I'm training to fight him. I'm training to punch him the same way as he's training to fight and of punch me. Of he's, um, he's like, he's the matchroom fighter. So would mm -hmm. you say the pressure's more on um him? I've got nothing to lose, bro. I've got nothing to lose. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a fight. Uh, it's just another fight for me. I train like a crazy person when I'm fighting the journeyman. So imagine what I'm training like now when I'm fighting, again, uh, a, a good talent like Keevan and a matching fighter on, on their home show. So, like, I, I'm just training like a madman like I always do. You know what what does saying? it mean to you that you're fighting on a matching show? Listen, it's a boxing ring. It means exactly the same to me as it does for me boxing at your call. Like I, mm -hmm. I take every fight like it's a world title fight. That's how I have to approach every fight. But it's a, ma a massive occasion. 
it's a, it's a big show, but it's a fight. And it doesn't matter where you fight, anywhere. It could be in front of a million people or 10 people. It's a fight. My head's on the line. And, I, and I've got to put, like, myself amongst it and put everything out there and leave nothing in chance and leave nothing in that ring. I want to leave it. I'm leave it all in that ring, sorry. Yes. And come out with nothing. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's a fight. And I'm used to fighting. That ring there is my home, no matter where it is. So do, do you feel like you're going into the fight as, like, the underdog? I never feel like the underdog anywhere. But on, on paper, I guess it would say that I have... Am I the underdog? I don't know. I have more experience, I guess, in, in fights and competition than Keevan. But obviously, I'm fighting against a matchroom undefeated lad. So... I guess on paper it would say I'm the underdog, but not, not in my head. Have you sparred him then? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sparred, yeah. yeah. Are you, are you right. taking anything from the spars or? Sparring, sparring. You know, when you go into sparring, like, uh, especially depending on where you are in camp, you can be half fit. You, you, you can, like, you know, he can make mistakes. I can make mistakes. Are you as sharp as, you, as you're going to be on the night? No. Um, I don't really take much out of sparring too much. I can I can see how someone someone's um uh someone's style is and stuff like that. But I don't take too much out of sparring, sparring, sparring. Of course people um are saying that he hits hard. Have you, does does he hit hard? He's a eleven and a half stone man. Like everyone at that weight can tump you don't can yeah, you don't want to put your chin out for anyone, do you? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want to put my chin out for you and how much you weigh, you know? So I don't want to get punched. So, um, yeah. yeah, he can whack. I can whack. Everyone at middleweight can whack. You know what I'm saying? When you fought um, Danny, because if you beat a Jarkov, um, would that be something that you would, tr like, try? Would you rematch Danny Diggum? Yeah. I, I, if it's right, yeah. If, 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 like, you know, if maybe that title was on the line again or it made sense, yeah, I would. Again, Danny's cool, man. I got on with Danny. Um, but again, it's business if that, if it's that a good was good fight, the... you v Danny. Yeah, yeah, it's a good fight, you know what I'm saying? And, um, did you enjoy yeah, topping I... the bill? Yeah, that was good. That was good. That was good. It's for a good title. Obviously, it didn't get the result I wanted. I got cut and kind of couldn't see, mm. but. Good fight. I, I caused him a few problems, and um, yeah, that's boxing. I got cut. Couldn't Just see. A great got... fight for the fans, really. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And absolutely. even though you've came up, you came up short. You've still, you've still got a big opportunity. You're getting opportunities, and um, you're signed with uh, Lee Eaton, aren't you? Yeah, I just signed with him um the start of the year, and that uh, he got me on that like I say Johnny Clark show, and then straight into a matchroom show. So. It's, it's wicked. It's wicked. He's, he's giving you good opportunities, and I'm sure you're going to take them with both hands. Absolutely, both hands, mate. Both hands. Absolutely, mate. Um, are you bringing many people up? Um, to the fight? Or? Yeah, I've got about. I, I I didn't get loads of tickets. I think I've got about near on thirty tickets, and they're all gone. So a few, a few. You people sold come. all the tickets that uh you've got, and then yeah, they, maybe some people brought off the website anyway. Yeah. Exactly, but they were they were gone straight away. They were gone within a twenty minutes. So yeah, they were. Yeah. Um, yeah, of course. Are you looking forward to like uh, the press conference and like the whole media days and all like the build up to it? Yeah, like I mean, uh, to be fair, I, I, I'm looking forward to the fight more than anything. But yeah, that's all good. All the press conferences, the media days, and stuff like that. Yeah, they they're cool. But I'm I'm just enjoying. I'm enjoying the moment. I'm enjoying training, and I'm looking forward to the fight. You know what, what I'm saying? What would this and, win um, do for your career? It propel it to, to to where I believe it should be right now. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I say, I've had a couple of results that haven't gone my way. So would and, you uh, be looking for the British title? Or yeah, I'm yeah definitely looking for the British title. Um, that would be great to uh get an opportunity to fight for that and uh to win that and. Yeah, the British part was definitely on the radar, one hundred percent. So, do you do you believe that you you can knock um out a jarker, or do you think if it, if the shot comes, well, it comes? 
if the shot comes, the shot comes. I don't ever go in there. Look, look I love a stoppage. You know what I'm saying? And I know I can whack. My record doesn't suggest that hard I hit. Do you know what I'm saying? I know that for a fact. Uh, sometimes I can. I, I've thought, okay, I've got this on points. No need to like take silly chances. I know either hand I can knock someone out. So if it comes, it comes. Do you comes. feel like you've kind of got to knock him out? Is it? Is it? Is it his hometown or? No, he's from Belfast. He's from oh. Belfast, but obviously he's from Ireland. Like, the Irish. He's from Ireland, but he's from Northern Ireland. Yeah. So, so, um, so do you feel like you've got to knock him out, or if you just keep, if you, I don't know, if you just box the best of your ability. Listen, I've got to come with my my A game, and that's it. I know he knows he's got to come with his A game as well, and like all I can do is prepare, prepare, prepare. And be the best I can be. And so, I camp's feel... gone good. Camp's gone great. Camp's still, gone great. Are you, are you still training, or? Yeah, still training. I've just come from training now, so um, still training, still training three times a day. Um, and then that will slow down as of um, what we got? What we got? Two, two and a half weeks. Two so weeks. that, yeah, yeah. So. Still train hard next week, and then it'll slow down the week after a little bit. Yeah, but I'm ready to go. And then it's sort of kind of getting into uh, the fight, like the, your the the mind of like the fight. That's right. Yeah, get into the mind of the fight. So when are you travel traveling up there? I think we're going up there on the Thursday. Yeah, going up there on the Thursday. Mm -hmm. So because uh, and then the way yeah. would be on Friday and stuff, won't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So, yeah, go up on the Thursday, weigh in on the Friday. And then Saturday night, you go and cause the upset. That's the one. And then travel home on the Sunday. Come and see my family, celebrate, and then that's it, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, with hasn't he got a title or...? I believe he has got a title. I think he's got WBA in, in the continental or international title. Is that title, on the line? That's... No, because that's down at Super Well Eye, and this one's scheduled to be fighting at middleweight. Oh, because yeah. on box rec it says you're a um, middle. Yeah, I'm middleweight, not and so he won that title at Super Well Eye, so he's come. Oh, back that's up to why he's it's not on the line because it's not at the weight class. Oh, so. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fair enough. So yeah, it would have been cool if it was a title on the line. Definitely, do you know what I mean? But that's how it goes. The opportunity it, it is, is there. what it is, and, and the same. It, because I know as much as you, you you would like the title, it's just at least you've got the opportunity and that's the main thing. Exactly, exactly. And yeah, uh, like it's like I say, it's quiet at the end of the day and this would look very good on your uh, your record. Exactly. And like I say, fight's a fight. It's um it's it's on a massive show, I believe the biggest show this year so far. So because up to us fans, like how how long because it I know you get like the information before us fans. How long roughly have you had to prepare for this fight? A full camp. So I come straight out of um that last fight with Mamadov and I think I got the I got the call from Lee to say, did I want the fight over Jarko? We kinda knew before that this opportunity was gonna like show itself. Yeah, like so, the big opportunities were gonna come. Yeah. So we kinda knew that there was a fight maybe Possibly between me and Keevan. Uh, so I had that fight. A couple of days, I had a chill out time, and then that was it, straight back into camp. So I've had kind of like a, you know, 14, 15 week camp, really. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I was ready to go, man. You know what I mean? I'm ready to go now. It's just, it's just fine tuning everything and staying injury free. That's it. That's it, mate. And uh, before I, I let you go, mate, um, do you just want to say, I don't know, just thank anyone? Yeah, just I'd like to thank all my crew, my, my team, Veron Kwame, Slick Evans, Pat Hawley, my brother Jordan, my sponsor, Broad Sport. Um, uh, yeah, everyone else, all my family, everyone, man. Um, Lee Eaton for, for getting this fight. Just bigging up everyone. Everyone knows who they are and... Uh, yeah, I can't wait to to fight on May the twentieth and do my thing, bro. Mm -hmm. Go go shop the world, mate. That's how it goes, mate. That's what you got to do. That's it. Good luck with the fight, mate. Thank you very much, buddy, and All thank you for that, mate.
Thank you very much. A- any you. time, mate. Any time. But man, support Arsenal, though, not Man United. <laughs> 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 Well, we could have a debate about football another time, mate. But you know. yeah, absolutely. there you go, there you go. That's yes, another mate. time. Right. Yeah. Speak to you soon, mate. Take care, buddy.